The Science Success Center, with funding from Title V, presents Molecular Biology of the Gene, a biology workshop. DNA and RNA are polymers of nucleotides. A DNA polynucleotide is a long chain of DNA nucleotides held together by a sugar phosphate backbone. A sugar phosphate backbone is the sugar and phosphate group of each individual nucleotide. A DNA nucleotide consists of a phosphate group, a sugar, and a nitrogenous base. DNA is a double-stranded helix. The helix is held together by hydrogen bonds found between the nitrogenous bases. The nitrogenous base pair thymine and adenine always form two hydrogen bonds between each other. But guanine and cytosine nitrogenous base pairs always form three hydrogen bonds between each other. DNA replication depends on specific base pairing. The parental molecule of DNA is a representation of a two-dimensional double helix. In DNA replication, the parental molecule unwinds so that both parental strands serve as templates. Molecules then have the opportunity needed to add the new base pairs to make a new DNA molecule, with both having one new strand and an old strand that was used as a template. The entire DNA replication is a semi-conservative model because half of the parental molecule is conserved in each daughter molecule. DNA replication proceeds in two directions in many sites. The DNA molecule being replicated can have many origins of replication, which are the starting points for replication, that create bubbles. These bubbles created have two directions, which help give rise to the two daughter DNA molecules. When replication begins, a DNA polymerase molecule attaches itself at the three prime end of the parental strand and attaches nucleotides to the five prime end. The DNA polymerase always goes in the three prime to five prime direction. Notice how the bottom parental strand creates DNA fragments. This happens because as the parental molecule unwinds, a new parental strand without base pairs needs another DNA polymerase to bind at the new 3' prime end. DNA ligase is responsible for attaching the DNA fragments. The flow of genetic information in a eukaryotic cell. DNA is found inside the nucleus and undergoes transcription, a process that transfers genetic information from DNA into an RNA molecule. The single-stranded RNA molecule will travel out the nucleus and into the cytoplasm for translation of RNA to the specific protein the RNA coded for. Codons are translated into amino acid sequences. During transcription, a DNA strand is transcribed into RNA. The RNA is read as a series of three base words called codons. Each codon codes for a specific amino acid. The genetic code is the Rosetta Stone of life. The start codon is the base sequence AUG, and the table on the left translates the AUG sequence as a MET amino acid. All codons are translated similarly. Transcription produces genetic messages in the form of RNA. First is initiation, the process when an RNA polymerase enzyme attaches itself to the promoter DNA. In the elongation process, the RNA polymerase unwinds and adds nucleotide sequences to a daughter strand using the original DNA molecule as a template. In termination, the RNA polymerase detaches itself from both the DNA and the completed RNA. Eukaryotic RNA is processed before leaving the nucleus. Before leaving the nucleus, RNA splicing occurs, a process of cutting out the introns and gluing together the exons. 
Introns are non-coding regions from the RNA, and the exons are the coding regions of the RNA that get expressed as amino acids. Transfer RNA interpret during translation. Transfer RNAs, also known as tRNA, is a RNA polynucleotide held together by hydrogen bonds. An anticodon found at one end of the tRNA is a special triplet of bases that is complementary to specific amino acids. The complementary amino acid is added one by one to the growing polypeptide chain to make a protein. Ribosomes build polypeptides. Ribosomes have a large subunit and a small subunit. The large subunit has a tRNA binding site where tRNAs bind to translate the RNA into the polypeptide chain. Elongation adds amino acids to the polypeptide chain until a stop codon terminates translation. Codon recognition, the anticodon of an incoming tRNA molecule carrying its amino acid pairs with the messenger RNA codon in the A site of the ribosome. Peptide bond formation. The polypeptide separates from the transfer RNA found in the P site and binds to the amino acid on the tRNA found in the A site. Translocation. The tRNA from the A site moves into the P site awaiting for the next tRNA which brings the next amino acid. Mutations can change the meaning of genes. The normal gene has a specific amino acid sequence. A mutation may occur when a base is substituted with another nitrogenous base, and as a result, the amino acid sequence alters. Base deletion is when a nitrogenous base is missing from the RNA, and the resulting amino acid sequence alters drastically. The two types of phage reproductive cycles. First, a phage will inject its DNA into the bacterium. Next, the DNA will circularize. At this point, the phage's DNA may go into a lytic cycle, where new phage DNA and proteins are synthesized. Then the phages assemble and the cell lyses, releasing the phages. The new phages will find new bacterium to inject their DNA. But now the phage DNA will go through a lysogenic cycle. The lysogenic cycle inserts the phage's DNA into the bacterial chromosome by recombination. In this cycle, the lysogenic bacterium reproduces normally, replicating the prophage at each cell division. Note that either cycle may be used once the phage DNA is inside the bacterium. Bacteria can transfer DNA in three ways. First, we have transformation, which is the uptake of foreign DNA from the surrounding environment. Next, we have transduction, the transfer of bacterial genes by a phage. Finally, we have conjugation, a physical union of cells and the DNA transfer between them. The donor cell has sex pili that bind to the recipient cell that gets pulled to form a mating bridge. Thank you everyone for watching. Come visit us at the Science Success Center if you have any questions. Good luck on all your studies and tune in for the next workshop.